The ways of the farmer have changed greatly over the years, and so have his pieces of machinery. But he still works from dawn to dusk and requires a good night's sleep. Noise at night travels far. It also travels quite away during the day. Country roads have special dangers. Care and patience are needed when passing farm animals or bulky, slow-moving farm machinery. Careless parking may block the entrance to fields or farm buildings. So go carefully on country roads and park with consideration. Remember too that loudly played radios are annoying both to the farmer and other visitors to the countryside. Most dogs enjoy a day in the country. But their exuberance is not always appreciated by the locals. Calves and lambs are often born dead because their mothers have been frightened by dogs. Now this farm dog is trained not to chase the animals. So train your dog to obey you. If he doesn't obey, put him on a lead when near farm animals. People who let their dogs go berserk in the country are often not much better themselves. They have no respect for the farmer's property, his gates and walls. Public footpaths across farmland are there for your use, but to stray from them causes unnecessary damage to crops, including grass. The hedges and walls in the country are not just for decoration. They are functional ones to keep sheep and cattle safe and away from all the crops the farmer grows. The farmer often has to leave his machinery unattended. It is costly equipment, so never interfere with it. Unlocked barns and buildings house seeds and fertilizers and other valuable equipment. So please, leave the farmer's things alone. Respect his way of life, his animals, crops and machinery. Protect also the wildlife of the countryside and don't follow the example of the fox. Things that start off in an innocent way can cause a lot of harm. If we do this, the trees will suffer. Trees are valuable as well as beautiful. Their health and beauty will also suffer if blossom is torn off or branches are broken. If wild plants are uprooted, they will soon become rare. Leave them for others to see. Let birds and wild animals lead their lives undisturbed. If it is necessary for you to light a fire to cook, make sure you keep it under proper control. Fire is lethal when left to its own devices. It will destroy all in its path. Moors, woodlands, young plantations and wildlife farmlands and livestock. All can be lost in a short time through carelessness. On a fine summer's day, besides the smoke from your fire, other strange things take to the air. Litter. A good job tins can't fly. But they do. And so do some bottles. Rivers and streams are good landmarks from up here. And you'd be surprised at some of the things we see. Sheep and cattle often get hurt by broken glass or by tins. And that harvester could be put out of action by a broken bottle. Remember too that plastic bags are dangerous to animals. They may suffocate if help is not at hand. The countryside is not provided with litter bins. So follow the country code and take your litter home. Whenever I step into my car, the strangest thing happens.
I turn into a sort of big lizard. You, sir, have turned into a dinosaur. Oh, perhaps I ought to see my doctor. It's all very odd. Perhaps it's the weather. No, it's um, psychological. Like the dinosaur, some drivers haven't adjusted themselves to changing conditions. But I'm a very good driver. I passed my test first time, years ago. Exactly. But it's experience that counts. Look at these kids. Some of them can only just have left school. Those kids, they know a thing or two. Take the new road signs, for instance. Do you know them? What's that? That. And that. Quickly now. Uh, 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 There's no time oh. for indecision when driving. Those kids know them. They learnt them before they passed the test. But don't despair. Pop into your nearest bookstall and get this. The new traffic signs. For the safety of you and your passengers. Keep up with the kids. You know what happened to the dinosaur, don't you? It became extinct. Many country folks still depend on springs and streams for water, both for themselves and for their animals. Surface water, too, is easily contaminated, especially by digging latrines in the wrong places. Down mountain stream and leafy brook, the water from the hills wends its way into the reservoirs that supply our cities, towns and villages. These open stretches of water lure us all in one way or another. On some reservoirs, these activities are acceptable, but there are some where bathing, boating and the weekly wash are strictly forbidden. The fact that water is part of a natural cycle leads many people to suppose that it has no value. Water is precious, whether from a stream, spring or reservoir, whether for human consumption or for animals. Follow the country code and safeguard all water supplies. <laughs> 